Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. You got the Lucas Oil Top Fuel RC drag boat on the block. This is a custom built, all wood, uh, custom drag boat that I built. Just finished it up, got the paint job on it, got the stickers on there, got the motor, got the secondary hatch finished up, working on all the little odds and ends to give it its scale appearance. But uh, we're gonna run it here at the, at the park pond, a few runs, got a few packs with me. So let's get it, let's get it. running twin motor twin leopard hobby 2860 2730 kv motors four millimeter shaft with offshore electric counter rotating 38 14 props okay single rudder uh running a twin 90 amp fly colors with a 4s 100c spectrum uh g2 battery okay i got my carbon fiber hatchback uh battery tray back in the boat got it some more surface area to hold it down okay i basically took some carbon fiber went down the bulkheads there just to give it more area structure Let's see what she does <sighs> looks good it looks good painted red oh trigger Taking it easy, filling it out, you know, my first run since the rebuild. Let's uh, let's do a couple takeoffs here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Needs a parachute, boys. She got some oomph, baby. Definitely got some oomph. wonky there oh shot that's a bummer I lost my GNS performance analyzer man I wanted to do some drag racing like numbers you know 130 set it to 132 feet from a dead stop and see what it does scale quarter mile oh that sucks i won't be able to get one for about a week or two full trigger Okay, let's uh, let's check some some temps, and I think I'll throw that GPS in it. I'm just taking it easy, playing with my boat, you know, not really going all out. Learned my lesson yesterday with the V2, wrecking it and busting my hatch open, you know. I'm trying to take it easy on my boat. Check the temp here. 79, 77 on the motors. That's good. All right. Full trigger. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. So I'm gonna do a couple little slow-mo shots with the rest of this pack. Hope you guys like it. from a dead stop <laughs> nice <laughs> gotta adjust those struts a little bit all right let's put the other battery in and uh try to get one speed run in just to kind of get a speed with this old GPS. Stop. Record. All right, 
right, here we go. Full trigger. Full trigger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see if we can get one more in before we pull the GPS out. Full trigger. Full trigger. All right, let's see what we got there. Hopefully this GPS still works. <laughs> Might do it one more time. We'll let the battery charge up a little bit. We may do it one more time. Oh shit, 65 nice 65 mile an hour boys 65 knots and no freaking smoke that's my pb so painting the boat with that clear coat i waxed the bottom gave me an extra five mile an hour from the last time i had my boat out 65 damn so this boat's got 70 in it it's got 70 in it all day long it does all right so i'm gonna throw this back on the charger real quick get the get the get it back up to voltage here Beep. when interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you guys a real quick mail day all right this is from Ra warden hope i got the last name right but um he sent me a little goodie box i had no idea it was coming i opened it up and uh you guys are really gonna like what's in this box because i think it's freaking awesome okay if you guys have something you'd like to send to the channel uh email me the email's in the description you know it's something you're you're not using stuff you're you know old boats you know something funny things you're trying to promote products you're trying to promote emails in the description email will work out the shipping arrangements okay uh so this is really cool okay rob is actually the guy who actually sent me my propeller box inserts for my props okay they keep my props all organized so they're not like in a box rubbing, rubbing up against each other uh propellers they're in it they're an investment you know uh props can go from anywhere from five dollars to two hundred dollars for a race ready race prepped sharpened and balanced propeller they're they're an investment and rob has a, a nice solution here okay uh check this out you guys this this is a travel propeller box it's waterproof it has a waterproof seal around it okay check it out custom made box for big b thank you brother this thing is epic son all right it features removable prop post okay you can remove them and say you're running like a three blade prop in your in your box and uh you don't want it hitting the post next to it the the post actually remove okay i like that feature the posts are actually staggered from one another we found that that actually works best when you're when you're storing your props if they're staggered when they're side by side or straight across from each other to actually rub on one another this is his third version his first version was this guy right here actually you know actually he got he kind of got the idea from me about a year ago or so i had made this box with a piece of foam i just stuck some pins in there and he emailed me he's like big b how would you like a 3d printed propeller insert okay so we came up with this with a plastic shaft plastic drive dog he found that it's a little bit cumbersome they always don't stay glued down so he came out with his second version okay this is his v2 version he actually made it where you could put your own shaft in there with a little drive dog to kind of hold your props in place this was his uh another another uh variation of the second version which i actually love i use it in all my prop boxes uh i usually keep my props organized like from brand or propeller type so this is his third version and i think this is fantastic okay um got eight four millimeter board propeller area right here and all three sixteenths up here okay he's actually included a few extra drive dogs in case you break it it's 3d printed all right and um man I, you know I, like i'm waiting on a reply from an email 
and I, he don't really mass produce these he just is a hobbyist and and it looks like it actually takes quite a bit of time to print and make this so he doesn't mass produce them if he is up to selling or you know making a couple of these inserts you can get the insert get your own box give them the dimensions and he can kind of go from there with it y'all can go from there but if i put the email in the description the email to rob is only for serious inquiries okay he's a hobbyist he don't want a bunch of guys just asking for prices and stuff if cost is not an issue email him okay but don't bug him you got you got me so rob i really appreciate it i think the v v3 box is uh where it's at for real i think that's that's uh, a, a, a home run hitter right there so uh back to the regularly scheduled programming That's freaking cool, right? That is too cool, man. Rob, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, if you guys are interested in the boxes, um, give Rob an a, a email. Only serious inquiries, like I said, but that is too cool, right? It's cool. I love it. I love it. Charging. All right, so let's get it. Lucas Oil Drag Boat. Full trigger. Once she's up to speed, it, it just flattens right out. The first 20, 30 feet or so, it's kind of like wonky. Once it catches, once the ride catches, you know, oh, she's on point. She just flattens right out, man. I don't even think I need to do much more tuning to it. Freaking rocket ship, son. 65 miles an hour, dude. That's freaking nuts. That's freaking nuts, boys. Let me get her turned around here. That's freaking nuts. Here we go. Here we go. Full trigger. Fast. All right, let's clear out that 65. Record. All right, let's try to get us a, another 65 mile an hour run here. All right, whole shot here. Oh, got off to the wrong foot. Full trigger come off of it I didn't want to crash her one more pass we'll check the speed all right here we go get her lined up all right let's check the speed Seems like when I give it more, when I give it a lot of throttle, she'll turn. Sixty-one, sixty-one miles an hour. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. I got the motor on. Let's do a couple of, of slow mos so I can see how the boat reacts out of the hole. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, she don't like that extra weight back there. That's for sure. So this is basically be my shelf queen hatch. Let's do it again. Just see if it wasn't a fluke there. Yeah. Full trigger. Oh, there goes the motor. <laughs> oh man. So the motor come off that's exactly what i wanted it to do you know if i wrecked i wanted the motor to to come unscrewed i didn't put no nuts in it just for that that's exactly what i wanted it to do you know believe it or not <laughs> believe it or not first blown v8 engine i've ever seen float on water <laughs> See what it does with that motor on the back? Too much weight. Too much weight for the boat.
sure does look cool with the motor on it. All right. Yep, I would say she ran good, you guys. I really would. You know, minus the hatch here, that's just for, for looks. Make it look cool, you know, on a shelf. I'd say she run good. 65 mile an hour with these G2s. Okay, I'll have a link in the description for the batteries. And uh, basically what I use for the boat. You know, it's a custom built boat, but uh, man, I, I think it ran good. 65 mile an hour, man. That's that's pretty good for a homemade boat. So we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys liked the video.